Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're gonna to give you the detailed breakdown for the new Climb F5 helmet available at Revzilla.com. So the new Climb F5 helmet is available in two different versions. You're gonna have the standard version, which is on my right-hand side, and you're gonna have a choroid version, which is in front of me. Now this is gonna be $650, which is a premium over the regular F5. And as we work through this video, we're gonna break down the differences that you're gonna see throughout. The main differences up front is a new choroid material, which we're gonna to get to, as well as the fact that this helmet is gonna have a DOT ECE rating. This is just gonna be ECE. So if you guys are out there in the adventure dual sport world, you know you're gonna be on the street. This is the one you're gonna be taking a look at. And the choroid version is gonna have MIPS technology, which is multi-directional impact protection system, low speed rotational impact. So when we're looking at the $150 difference, you are getting quite a bit of a bump by looking at this. But the main feature that we're gonna break down is what that choroid material really is and what it means for you. So the things are gonna be the same. It is gonna be a carbon fiber shell. When we take a look at this, three shells, three EPS liners, and it is gonna have the DOT rating only on the choroid version. Both of the helmets will be ECE rated. Now the other thing you'll note is the weight change. Because a, D, a DOT helmet requires a thicker shell, you are gonna have a helmet that comes in at three pounds in a large for the choroid version, which is extremely lightweight. And if you are looking at the F5 without the DOT rating, it's even lighter. This is gonna be uh, two pounds, 10 ounces in a, uh, in a large. So there is gonna be about a six ounce difference between the two helmets, which is a pre pretty significant weight savings. But let's talk about all the other features because really the only thing that I can see that the F5 is gonna have going for it, besides bumping up, is gonna be just the weight difference between the two. So when we're looking at the two helmets, both will have an intermediate oval fit. A little bit longer front to back, a little bit narrowed on the side of the head. And I actually got one of these recently for personal use. I'm extremely excited about this, but the one thing to note on fitment, sizes do range from a small up to a 3XL. However, you're gonna wanna bump up a size. So typically in my showies, my Arise, I'm an extra large. When I put this on to try it out, I did have to bump to a 2XL. So just keep that in mind. Now, when we're taking a look at this, like I said, carbon fiber shell on the outside, extremely lightweight. You're gonna have a massive amount of venting running down the top of this. You'll notice the massive cutouts that you're gonna see both at the top as well as the back. Now, the one feature that that choroid is gonna give you is going to be a massive amount of ventilation. So, let's go ahead and break down what we're talking about when we say choroid. So, it's a, it's a different material. You're, you're gonna use a combination of this choroid material, which is like these little fluorescent green straws. It's a dual layer straw that allows a massive amount of airflow, but it actually gives you um, better protection from an impact standpoint. It transfers less G-force to your head, and it's derived from the mountain biking, bicycling industry. So this is material that's already been out there. It's still one-time impact, the same way that you would see with the traditional EPS, and with the choroid version, it actually works with that traditional EPS to give you two different layers for that liner system that are going to keep you safe. So what do you get from a ventilation standpoint? It's not so much more the additional ventilation that you're going to get when you're moving on the motorcycle. It's all the extra ventilation you're going to get when you're standing still. It's going to be just radiating heat out of the top of your head, which is going to help to keep you cool in low speed situations. But really to see what we're talking about, we need to take a look at the inside of the helmet. So let's go ahead right now and pull out the inside liner on this particular one, and then I'll go ahead and pull out the inside liner on the F5 so you can actually see the difference. Now the first thing you're gonna notice on this, and this is gonna be on both the F5 as well as the choroid version of the F5, it's a new Fidlock system. And it takes a little bit to get used to. Now if you're not familiar with Fidlock, this is like alien technology. All you have to do is get it close and it falls into place, but that will not come undone unless you take this red tab and you pull it down at just the right angle and then it pops right off. Off. So if we're getting the helmet on and off when I was riding this off-road, you can simply just throw it there and it lines up in place. You don't have to run it, worry about running the, D, the double D rings through. So once you set the length of where you want your strap to go, I mean, it's set it and forget it. It's a little bit weird to get used to at first, but once you do, it's a game changer. So pulling the liner out, 
three snaps, really easy in, easy out. The one thing to note, there's no quick release emergency cheek pads for a $650 helmet. You know, that's probably a minor nitpick to throw out. But what I do like is that there's this plastic, plastic uh, kind of a, a frame to the back of it. So pulling the cheek pads in and out is extremely easy, especially compared to some of the other helmets at the premium price point that I've used in the past. Now getting the liner out is really where we're gonna see the difference between the two helmets. So the first thing you'll notice on the Coroid version is you are gonna have that yellow MIPS liner. And again, that's multi-directional impact protection system. And what that does is it gives you just a slip plane design. So it allows the actual helmet to reduce rotational impact. And this is something that's been established for a while. You're not gonna have this on the F5. So you bump to the Coroid, you're getting that MIPS system, and you're also gonna see that massive amount of green in there. Now this is what we're talking about. This is that choroid material. What they look like are literally tiny little straws and there's two different layers to them. One layer is gonna bind them to the straws that surround them and the other layer is gonna be the actual crush protection. So with the MIPS system, that's reducing your rotational impact, but it's the choroid which is actually giving you better reduction in the G-force from the initial hit that you take if you smash your head into a tree or a rock. You'll also notice a massive amount of channel cutout for airflow. This is one of the most breathable helmets that I've seen or used. You're simply getting a ton of airflow. And like I said, the big improvement with the Coroid is when you're sitting still, when you're not moving, it just allows all that air or that, that heat rather coming off of your head to just loft away, making it just a much more breathable helmet for you at lower speeds. And you're gonna see a lot of that is with the liner as well. I love the liner on this because there's just so many channel cutouts really promoting the airflow. But let's go ahead and pull the F5 out just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And we'll go through this a little bit faster because everything else is the same from a cheek pad, from a liner standpoint. It's really just the reduction or the removal of the MIPS as well as the choroid system that you're not gonna have on the F5. So you'll notice this is just a regular traditional EPS. You're still gonna have that Fidlock system, but when you're looking at the inside, there's no MIPS and there's no choroid. So again, when you're taking a look at what you get for the extra $150 for bumping the choroid system, is you're getting better reduction in rotational impact, you're getting better reduction in actual the hit that you're gonna take, that G-force impact, and you're getting better ventilation. So when you're comparing the two, the only thing you're gonna lose, the only thing you're gonna sacrifice by making the jump is you are gonna have a slightly heavier helmet. So making the jump from the F5 is gonna add about six ounces. But for those of you that are using this in a dual sport situation where you are gonna be in on-road settings, you're gonna need that DOT rating on here, something that the F5 is not gonna have. Now, regardless of which one you're looking at, they're both great helmets, but for me, all the extra benefits of what you're getting with this new technology makes this probably one of the most standout dirt helmets on the market today. Just from a technology standpoint, Climb has made huge leaps in innovation with this new F5 Coroid. Now, that being said, there's a lot of folks out there utilizing these helmets. And if you wanna hear about what they have to say, now would be the time to go ahead and click that info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this helmet through its paces. If you have any additional questions that you wanna you know, hash out with a gear geek, you can give them a shot at 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email to cs at ribzola.com. I wanna thank you for joining us for this look at the breakdown of the new Climb F5 helmets. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.